Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a really cool program called Bottles, which is basically a wine installer for Linux. So let's get started. Now I use Linux a lot and from time to time I have to install Windows programs. There's just no doubt about it. Uh, sometimes it could be Photoshop, sometimes it could be Office, or it could be just some utilities that only have Windows variants. Now, I don't know if you stumbled across this before, but there are dependencies involved in installing each component. So sometimes when you install one Windows program, say like Office that requires VC Run 2019, or if you install another program like Photoshop that requires something else, you can't have them mix between each other because they will conflict. So Bottles is the software that is a GUI installer for Wine that will actually bottle or contain everything on its own, making it easier for you to install. Now you can manually do this whole process, which is called wine prefixes. You just substitute your own directory for each wine or Windows installation. So you could do your own thing for each program. But after five or six programs, you're gonna start getting confused on where or what dependencies it has, et cetera, et cetera. So, Bottles basically contains everything all in one and puts it into a really pretty GUI. Now, to get this installed, it only supports Flatpak, which is great because it works really good. Uh, all you have to do is just go into your software center and search for the program Bottles. Now, if you don't have uh, the software center with Flatpak installed, you're gonna have to do that first, but it should come up like this. Run Windows software, it looks like Bottles, and then you could install it. Now, in my case, again, I've already done many videos on installing Flatpak and installing a GNOME Software Center, so you could definitely Google it in my channel or search anywhere else for basically GNOME Software Package and Flatpak. It'll give you two commands to get this installed. Now, once this is installed, it will boot up like this, and here it is. What you can do right now is create a new bottle, or if you have something in your library, which I don't because I don't have any bottles, um, you would have to do something here. Now, say I want to install Battle.net and, and because Overwatch is a new thing and you want to install Battle.net. Instead of using Lutris, which basically this is just like a Lutris. Uh, Lutris just does it for gaming and it you know contains everything for each individual game for what it needs. Uh, this is just for Windows programs and games. So uh, say I'm going to do Bnet, okay? And I'm going to hit Create. It will actually create the folders, containers, and all the information that it kind of needs for most Windows installation. So give this a few seconds and it'll just create this new bottle for you. What's cool is that you can also save the bottle for future use, which means you can export it out with all the settings. So if you want to install it on another computer, all you have to do is just import the settings and you will have your bottle all set up. Now, there are a lot of options in here as well that you can configure that you don't normally find on your regular wine installation that this does it automatically for you. So that's always a benefit. Now, here I have the bottle created. And if I go into there, I'm gonna go down the list of stuff. We have our, pro the first program that we're gonna run, which is the installable or any program that you wanna install as far as games go. And then if you go over to preferences, here you can actually adjust some settings. You got uh, DXVK, uh, Vulkan 3D, DLSS, FSR, and I use this a lot for most Linux games. Uh, Linency Flex, discrete GPU if you're using laptop, so you could choose between the Intel or the onboard discrete video card. And then you have a few other things that you could play around with over here. If you got like Mango HUD, you could enable it over here, which I don't on this machine yet, but there's a lot of things that you could do. Uh, especially if you got DLL overrides or depending on the environment or the game that you're trying to choose, you can adjust the settings to that, especially on dependencies. Say like uh, if you need DirectX 11 or if you need uh, .NET to play this game, you could just install it right through here. Now, what's really cool is um, if you go into installers, you can actually install the specific ones that you need. So if you want Battle.net, you could just click here and install Battle.net, you know, since uh, Overwatch 2 is pretty popular right now. Uh, then you got Epic Game Store or even Star Citizen. Now, if I go back and I create, uh, see, now it doesn't have the big menu. You just have to hit the plus button over here, apps, and you go to app environment for Windows. It's gonna install all the stuff that Windows usually require, like VC Run or uh, .NET 4.8 or certain stuff that 
mainly are, is geared towards Windows applications, it'll create the bottle for that. And then in there, again, you could go into apps, and then in there, you go into here, and again, go in dependencies, add all the stuff that you want. So say if I want to install an application, um, I am looking for, I think I recently installed it, Levitator Setup.exe. I hit run, it's gonna go through that installer. This application does not require any specifics, so it just runs right off the bat. And I could just go through this install. That's my software. I decided to choose this because it's much quicker. Launch at the end, and that is it. The application will just run. Now, if I want to go into programs and click here and save it as uh, my library, every time when I go into library here, I will have my little thing. Now. This shows the wrong thumbnail because this, this is an app, but regardless, it does work. And then I just have to hit the play button over here and it'll run that software that I have just installed. This applies for games as well. So if you guys got games and you want to install, like I said, your Battle.net or Epic Game Launcher or whatever it is, works as well. Now there are different bottles out there in the world. I haven't done much research on where to get more bottles, but they do have a website and it's right here, usebottles.com. And you could look through more of their documentations. If you have any issues, just uh, do a bug report. Uh, but yeah, you have a bunch of stuff over here as well. And you could probably find uh, the information that you are looking for, especially if you're trying to build your own application out in, as a bottle form. Anyway, that is it for this application. I've just recently discovered this and I really like using it. Now, I, I gotta be honest, I haven't migrated all my applications over to bottles yet. I've had migrated some just for testing purposes, but so far I haven't ran into any issues. I got Battle.net, Overwatch, uh, Epic Game Launcher working, um, the Levitator, the one that you just saw, that's another program working. I do eventually wanna migrate Office over and a few Windows applications that I have, but so far, so good. I like the fact that everything is separate and contained and I don't have to worry about remembering what wine prefix I have set up just for that particular installation. Anyway, that is it. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below or on my Discord. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.